I call the member for Maroochydore. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I move that this House notes the reported concerns by the Integrity Commissioner with respect to the alleged interference by the Public Service Commission into her office and calls on the Economics and Governance Committee to immediately release all documents pertaining to this matter by close of business on the 24th of February 2022. It's somewhat ironic that we've seen the Premier more furious and upset uh, about people casting uh, their concerns in the public arena about integrity, but she hasn't shown the same fury and anger about the raids on the Integrity Commissioner's office. And therein is a hint to what's wrong with the information that's been hidden. This motion is about getting information out into the light. I don't know all the information that's before this parliamentary committee. We haven't seen uh, those transcripts, those minutes, to know what has in fact been referred there, what's been discussed there. And that is part of the major problem here, because when the Premier talks about matters having been referred, matters being before a committee, you don't know what matters exactly are before that committee. It's time it came out into the light. No more of this shady darkness. And I, I note the Education Minister seems to be happy with this, but it's time that these committee records were released. This is a major issue. When you have the Integrity Commissioner for Queensland with her office that has been reportedly raided, with a laptop that's been taken, that's been erased of very sensitive material, where there are reports about her office having the security permissions changed. However, there are also reports during the rounds, which I'm concerned about, that when these public servants, these brave officers of Queensland stand up and say this is not right, there is a black ops dirt unit of government that goes around briefing people against them, seeking to defame them in the shadows, while the information that would uh, clearly put out there what's going on is kept under lock and key. The parliamentary committee and their standing orders means that if matters aren't released uh, by a published minute of that uh, committee, then they can be locked up for 30 years. We just heard this morning about the standing orders. And that's why a number of years ago, when the committees were reformed, there was an understanding that more of those minutes, those proceedings, should by default be done publicly. Information should be released more immediately. But instead, we've seen under this dodgy Labor government an effort to use their government-controlled numbers in a number of committees, in a number of committees, seek to lock up under lock and key the debate that happens behind closed doors. And that's not right. It's also a dirty little secret that, under the standing orders, members can talk among themselves as long as they don't talk publicly, which is just bizarre. It's about time that everyone has the information publicly and there were orders made to get this information out there. Stand up for the Integrity Commissioner. Say no to the Black Ops dirt unit that's trying to undermine her in the corridors and the shadows of this government. It's a disgrace. We've seen other brave public servants stand up and speak out. Former public servants who've lost their jobs, who didn't have a renewal of contract because this government... Order. Such as Members the to former my right, state deceased, archivist. personally directing comments. The former state archivist who has spoken out bravely. Uh, this is not a political being. This is someone who upheld their duty to keep the Public Records Act. And yet this government, once again, has sought to blacken his name. It's time that there was a, a, a full integrity commission in this state that sought to get to the bottom to fully inquire into all these issues. The Premier is fake outrage when she claims that these matters are before committees and she can't talk about it. She doesn't want to talk about it. And there's a growing suspicion that her fingerprints are over this. Till we see that information, how will we know otherwise? Who took the laptop? When was it taken? When did the Premier know about it? When did the Premier know about that? When did the Premier know that there was a serious and significant issue with the Public Service Commission interfering in the role of the, in, of the Integrity Commissioner? And there are other senior, well-respected public officers who are Member speaking out, such as the former Forensic Disability Service Director, who also 
uh, didn't have her contract renewed and I believe was undermined by the then minister with defamatory comments publicly because she spoke out about Speaker. interference Member's in her Member's time has expired. written to the Premier Speaker. and got Member's no action. Member's time has expired. Um, I'll give a general warning. You've got a lot of time to speak. You will not take up further time from other speakers.